and welcome. Kimberly Castleberry here with JustAskKim.com and day three of the Think to Succeed video challenge. And today's topic is think of a time you felt stuck. What defining moment got you to take action on that situation? And I think my answer here may be a little different than some other people's because about a year ago, year and a half ago, I was already crash coursing on burnout and I was already having just a bear of a time and I really should have taken some downtime then. And what happened was I got served divorce papers and it wound up keeping me in court in a very, very miserable court battle for over a year. And that kind of stress on top of my health really just it did a full number on me. And there was times that I really, really considered folding the business and I really considered just putting it all away and I really considered that this ass that was trying to have my business shut down and trying to get that wrapped up in court the same way so that he could take power of it and have it all closed just because he was mad at me you know of just letting him have his way and I was blessed to have some amazing friends in the industry who really held the space for me. It wasn't in that time about taking action, but in these people who told me to take a breather. They told me that they were there for me if I needed it, but just to hang on, not to trash everything, not to take a wrecking ball to it, not to, not to give up on it just yet. And this went on a lot longer than, than anyone would think. I mean, this it kept us in court over a year, and it just, every time we think it was over, it was just more and more of the same. And these same friends never let that get to them. No one ever gave me shit for still dealing with this. No one ever gave me shit for, you know, where my head was at. No one gave me hell for, well, even the fact that it's still going on. I mean, we're almost done. We're almost done. Thank goodness. But now, as we come into the final wrap up these same friends are the ones that are there cheering me on they're like come on they're like what can we do to help and I've got a, a first little project that I'm just releasing the first thing that I've done since well in over a year and these people are like having a cheering committee it, it's really cool and I am I'm pretty flattered and, and overwhelmed by that support and it has been that support and it is that support that's going to let me get that off the ground at the same time you know I've been blessed to learn you know through that that you know what I built over time is really still there that once you have brand authority and once you have brand reputation it doesn't go away you can go away a year you can come back people still know who you are it's rather cool so you know that's something really inherent in what we're building out here that it may take longer to build than a fly-by-night situation but that it has durability and stability even when your own life gets really chaotic and so you know the defining moment is these friends who have gone from being this really supportive committee to being this real cheering committee as I get things going and you know to have people um, Lisa and Tia and you know, well I better start naming, naming names here I'm going to forget people there's just a whole list of people that have really started to help me get this first project out the gate it's about to go to launch waiting on some sales copy and I know that these people will be there to help me get it all the way through and that's been the key that having people in your corner having friends out here and making friends and making connections and knowing who those people are and letting those people know where you're at and where your head is at and when you need somebody because people can't be there for you if you don't let them know and so that's kind of my takeaway from that that you know having those connections has really been critical for me and amazing in its results all at the same time